Hey everyone and welcome back to our channel. So today I am going to take you through what we spent in Jan January, how the month ended up going for us, and that kind of jazz. So if you're interested, just keep on watching. Okay, I wanted to jump in here real quick to explain a couple of things because I've gotten a couple of like strange comments lately. Um, but if you're not interested in this part, just fast forward a little bit and we'll get right into the budget. First of all, it's my Saturday. I was gonna put on makeup, do like a whole face, and then I was like, y'all, this is just my Saturday, okay? I'm going through my budget, ending it out for the month, and wearing my sweats. I have tulips though, so is that okay? Second of all, I've had, I had some interesting, so I guess this is what happens when you like put your life out on YouTube and kind of explain your money journey. So first of all, I wanna say to anybody that's watching that is like a diehard Dave Ramsey fan, I'm not the girl for you. So I loved his book and it is what brought me into this journey for sure. And I do follow some of his steps, but not even close to entirely. I've kind of made it my own. So what I did is I started with Dave Ramsey, then I went and did my own research. I followed other YouTubers, other people, the way that they're doing things. And I kind of made my own system. And that is just like, what's working for me. I've been truly budgeting now for about a year and I have um, kind of made it my own, which is what I think everybody should do in budgeting. I don't think that any cut and dry plan works for every single person. But if you're like a huge Dave Ramsey fan, all the power to you. He obviously knows what the heck and Bob he's doing, okay? So, um, but don't come in here and assume that I am going to do everything that way because that's the way that you do it. I think that um, we're just sharing our story here. I'm showing what I do with my money and um, that's what it is. And while I appreciate, I have gotten questions and I have gotten comments and they've all come, most of them have all come from like a loving place, but the ones that come from judgment will be deleted um if it's rude i mean if you're just like telling me your opinion and you're being kind about it and it's coming from a kind-hearted place totally up for discussion up for ideas i've changed my budget based on your ideas before um but if you're coming in here and being like you shouldn't be spending your money there you need to cut this out you need to do that y'all just need to let me live my life it's my money okay i work a lot and if i want to go over budget on food then that's what i'm gonna do so Anyway, moving on from that, the second thing I think that is important to explain that I don't know that I've explained well, um, we have one income, my full-time salary, that never changes. Other than that, we have multiple stream streams of income that are high some month, are low some months. So you guys don't see my income because I don't share that with you, but um I, it changes every month. So I go in with the lowest possible that I think we're gonna make. And then um, for the most part, you'll see that we almost always make more than that, but that's how I budget so that I'm never under budgeting. So, so if you see something like that and you're confused by that, that's because I'm not showing you my income and I probably never will, but we have one steady stream of income and then we have like a bunch more that change all the time. So. Um, if you are someone that is working with one salary or you're working with two salaries that are always the same, your budget is always going to look the same unless you're like saving for different things versus for us, we always have to kind of budget low, um, because there, we have been in situations where like we haven't brought in the money that we thought or something got messed up or whatever. So with that, I just wanted to give that little precursor, um, if you're watching my budget and trying to compare it to yours, it might be a little bit different and that's why. Um, yeah, I think that's it. I mean, I'm all about kindness. I'm all about showing love. I'm all about showing support. I love all of your comments. I appreciate all of you for supporting this journey in the last year that um, my husband and I have been sharing. But if you come in here with judgment, I'm probably going to delete your comment because I'm just not I'm just not there for it, okay? And again, there's a difference between judgment and constructive criticism. But anyway, let's jump into this budget now actually to see like what we did with our money 
in January. As you can see, um, we brought in just over $800 extra this month than we were anticipating, which was amazing. We didn't have to dip into our savings at all. Um, in fact, we were able to like up our savings just a little bit. So it's been a really good month for us and we're really, really appreciative of that fact. Um, going into 2020 strong, as you all know, the end of our 2019 uh, was a little scary money-wise for a while, so we're feeling good here. So all of these fixed expenses were pretty much exactly what they were supposed to be. The only one that was off was my email here was a few cents cheaper, um, which if you watched my February budget, you'll see that I actually got rid of this. So another thing that a few people um, did comment on and were confused or sent me like a DM about um, is we used to have a huge expense of my husband's health insurance and that is now being taken care of via a different basically via like how it normally should be like taken out of um an income so that's why it's not in here I ended up deleting it moving on so we spent $2,500.17 on fixed expenses obviously the bulk of that is our rent Moving on, um, all of our debt payments, a lot of debt payments here, obviously. Um, these were all we paid exactly because I know how much our debt payments are going to be at the beginning of the month. So we, we paid them exactly. Currently, we're not putting any extra money toward debt just yet because, like I said, we had a difficult year at the end of the year last year. So we're kind of playing catch up. And then um, there's just been a few things that haven't been going so hot in other areas of life. So we would rather um save a little bit more money and we are hitting our debt hard this this year it's just like not today you know what i mean so that is um our debt payments nineteen hundred dollars thirty nine one thousand nine hundred and thirty dollars and four cents which is awful but that's what we did okay so moving on to variable expenses which i think is the place where people get like all up in arms um, and I just, again, like I want explained if you watched that little rant <laughs> explanation that I had in the beginning is I always budget low because I budget our income low. So obviously I knew as the month went on that we were bringing in more money. So with that, I knew that we could spend higher here. So how these are read like this, I get it. It looks like, wow, we were $200 over. We were $160 over here. Um, but I knew that. And I knew that we were bringing in more income. So this is more of just like how I watch things. If I was actually worried about it, guys, I would not spend the money. So moving on, we were about $200 over on groceries this month. And that is because we had an additional Friday that I stupidly didn't like plan for. And Friday tends to be when we go grocery shopping. So we ended up going over about $200 on groceries, but that was planned once we saw what our income was actually going to be um, toward mid month. We, as you can see, I had a couple of things here. I don't like, sometimes I remember um, <laughs> to track it and sometimes I don't. So $40 of this actually was money that we were repaid for. Um, so it actually got added to our income. So technically we spent $120, $122 on food this last month. Um, a few of that was like these two things. My sister ended up coming to visit us for my birthday, which I wasn't anticipating when I made this budget. So there were things like, um, we went out to eat a couple of times, uh, while she was here. So that's kind of like where that came in, but honestly, $120 in the month for spending at restaurants, um, not too mad about it. Then moving on, I was about $50 low on medication and supplements. That is because um, the company actually like messed up an order and they ended up sending me um, extra to like make up for what they messed up. So uh, this last month ended up being pretty good there, which was really helpful for me. Um, household, we went over by a lot. So this is an area that I have upped this next month. So part of this was also like personal spending, which I talked about in my February budget, if you're interested. So some of this is like not technically household stuff and probably could have been in miscellaneous, but, um, it's just not right now. We had like 
couple of Target trips, like paper towel, toilet paper, all that kind of stuff, which always adds up and it's crazy to me. And then I ended up um, spending some money on a dress and a pair of jeans because none of my clothes are fitting me right now. So I had to get a few things like that. I also got this shirt, but I actually bought this shirt with a um, Target gift card. So we did use a gift card a lot, but a lot of these were just like Target household household hauls. So this was up higher than it needed to be, but this $15 is just like not enough. Again, I budgeted lower than I was anticipating. I did it on purpose. Moving on, um, I had my hair cut and hair color this last month. I budgeted $175, but I spent $156. And if you look down here real quick in my miscellaneous, um, if you watched my what I spend in a week video a few weeks back, that extra do, um, money that I should have spent on my haircut, I donated $20 to the Australian fires, but then I found out that, um, <laughs> I found out that I did it on like the Australian site. So it was technically only $13 and 90 cents US, but I gave what I could and I tried and, um, I was happy about that though. I would love to like give more to charities in the future. This was just one that I was like called to in that moment. Um, so this one is, is technically should be red, but I'm not going to make it red. Obviously we spent $0 personal spending for both of us. And then Ben ended up spending almost $200 on clothes. Uh, ben basically redid his entire wardrobe. I believe he got like, I think he got like 10 or 12 shirts, four or five pairs of pants, something like something crazy like that because there's a big Old Navy sale um, that we weren't anticipating, but he actually moved money over from his income to cover that. So that's why it's not red because it was covered by his income. We just paid it out of our account. I know this all seems confusing, but it's not confusing when you own your own businesses and you have separate accounts. So he was able to pull that money over uh, in order to pay for that. I didn't spend anything this month. I did get my nails done, um, but that was paid for by my mom, so that was free for me. We spent $50 on therapy, which was about $30 less than I was anticipating. Technically, we only spent $40 on therapy. It was just that they hadn't charged me um, from a payment in December on accident. So um, with that, we spent $50 on therapy. My therapy is $10 per session because I have really good insurance right now, which is really helpful, which is why we go so often. If um, I had, I didn't have insurance that covered it as much, I probably wouldn't be going like six-ish times a month. Um, and that is individual and couples therapy. Moving on, I spent $0 at the doctor because they haven't charged me yet. So I've had to push that over to my February budget. Uh, utilities were over because they charged us twice for our ComEd bill. So basically we were charged like $130 for um, on accident, which I was like super annoyed about. But by the time they could like reverse the payment, we would have gotten it like three days ago. So at this point I was like, we'll just make our budget lower in February and it's whatever. We had that money again because our budget is always lower than what we actually make. I do that on purpose. Um, train we were over by because Ben is like still getting used to actually using the budget. Um, I usually tell him what he can spend and he does. He doesn't really spend much because um, the things that he does spend are technically business expenses, but currently we're paying his uh, commute budget out of our personal budget so with that he spent um he spent about thirty dollars over that i wasn't anticipating on venture tickets which is the tickets within chicago that you have to pay for um and i just i didn't budget for that so i did budget for it moving forward but we were under on tolls and gas by quite a bit um we got gas three times, so I guess we were only under by like 14 or like 13 bucks, but um, so that worked out there. In the miscellaneous, we were over by $13.90. Again, that was for the Australian fires, but again, I knew that I had that money. So, um, and this is also, as you'll see, like in our February budget, I have um, upped that because having $0 in miscellaneous just doesn't make sense. 
So we budgeted about $1,166 or $60 in uh, budgeted for variable expenses and we ended up spending um, about $1,800. Again, that's because we knew, I feel like I have to keep saying this, but um, that's because we knew our budget was gonna be higher. Like I said, usually it's around like mid to late month that other sources of income come in and um okay so a lot of the re maybe benjamin and i should talk about this like have a video on this and maybe that would help with any confusion i have my full-time job i sell well i don't really sell but i have a beauty i'm a beauty counter consultant so every now and then i'll get like 30 bucks here and there if someone orders from my site but i don't actively sell so it's not something that i uh, account for I also have my Etsy site where you can buy this budget for like five bucks and so I'll get like three bucks of that every now and then if I sell a budget um, then I have my coaching program which just got started Benjamin has his fitness business um, which is a personal training business but like obviously if people are traveling or if they're sick or something like that he doesn't get paid so that's why we always budget the lowest amount that he could possibly bring in and then um, he also has his coaching business he sometimes brings in money from like DraftKings because he does um, just like very low level amounts of um, what's that called fantasy football but he actually like brought in a good amount this year because he won a couple of times like well he won like in a uh, better range. So he brought in a little bit more money. So like money just randomly comes in that way. Like if he one off trains someone or one off coaches someone or anything like that, he brings in more money. So basically he has an extremely variable income right now and I have a steady and then a slightly variable income right now. Um, eventually we'll probably both be very, we'll both be variable income um, or just like changing but they'll be more steady because we're both like starting new businesses. Um, you just can't like depend on stuff yet. Whereas like in a year, it'll probably be much different. So I hope that explains it quickly. Um, but that's how we, that's how we do things. Um, in Cora's sinking fund, which again, I keep saying this every month and I keep forgetting to do, I should really just move that up to variable expenses. I think I'm gonna do that actually in February and move her sinking fund, her little sinking fund into our like full savings account. But um, we spent $83.33, we bought her food and then we actually bought her like this um, bone thing because um, she needs like to, to be able to chew for her teeth and stuff. So we bought her a bone, which was a little bit more than her food. And then these are my only sinking funds right now that I did put money into. So I put $10 into our plate renewal. I put $70 into a wedding that I'm going to be in in August. And I put $10 into our Amazon Prime sinking fund. So with that, we spent $173.33 in the sinking fund budget, which brings our grand total out to $6,443.30 in January, which I think is pretty dang good. Um, like I said, we brought in about $800 extra in income. It ended up being totally fine. And we are moving um, about $138 over to February for rollover, which is great. And our income is actually looking like it might be um, close to the same as this last month. So things are doing much better here and feeling really grateful going into February. Um, you know, being able to go to the grocery store and not being stressed or I just, um, I gave myself a personal budget so I was able to like buy myself a new pair of slippers on Amazon and I bought myself a book with my little um, personal spending budget already on February 1st. <laughs> and yeah, I'm just feeling super grateful about that. So that is what our February budget looked like. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Remember to be kind to people in your everyday life and on YouTube. Just be kind. There needs to be more kindness in this world versus judgment. So I will see you guys in the next video and let me know what else you would like to see from us. Bye.